He has been a member of the Mavericks since the very beginning of his NBA career in 1998, has gone on to become a 10-time All-Star with an offensive repertoire never before seen in a seven-footer. And he's still here 13 years later as the face of this franchise. Now that's loyalty, and that's not surprising from a player who is still coached by the same man that mentored him as a boy in his native Germany. The game is tied at 90. Davinsky gets the ball outside the three-point line. Davinsky puts up the three, puts it in! Dallas has tied the finals with one of the most incredible comebacks in NBA Finals history. In Game 2 of the Finals, fans witnessed a historic comeback by the Dallas Mavericks. But a few hours before the game, on that very same court, a mentor and his student prepared, just as they had for the past 17 years. He taught me everything I know uh, on the court. has been a uh, great help uh, off the floor with everything. Dirk Nowitzki's voyage to the NBA started in Würzburg, Germany. He was tall and skinny, without many skills. But one day, fate would intervene. Holger Geschwinder, a former member of the German Olympic basketball team, saw Dirk playing in a local gym. A kid who had a lot of potential, but needed a coach. At the very beginning, you know, if you take the responsibility for a 16-year-old kid, you know, you suddenly, you know, uh, recognize that you have to do more than just uh, dribbling the ball. Holger's work with Nowitzki quickly paid off, as he became one of the best young players in Europe. We're going to see you in the NBA, maybe another Detlef Shrimp someday? Oh, I hope so, you know, I don't know yet. Dirk made it to the NBA with the Dallas Mavericks, but the transition to his new country was not easy. Driving on Nowitzki. Good move, It's such a huge step, I, I still can't believe it, you know. It, it's a totally different style of basketball over here. It's, the pace is much higher. I'm still not used to it. In need of help, Dirk knew the answer to his problems lay half a world away. The whole world came over right away. You know, he showed me how you, you got to have the work ethic and you got to put in the time to make it in this league. So he was kind of like everything to me. He was my agent, my coach, my friend. He just took care of me. He was also the man who brought some unorthodox training methods. I thought it's a little weird. I mean, all of the stuff that, that he said, jumping up and down stuff and, you know, all the deep. The deep lunges, the deep squats that we do, uh, I don't think a lot of uh, people teach that. I had to find a way you know, how we can you know, relate somehow. So the, the basic thing was stay creative. It's, it's very old school, you know, obviously he's an, an, an old guy. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the methods worked for me and uh, you saw the improvement from, from year to year. Nowitzki gained confidence, becoming a perennial all-star and one of the game's most unstoppable scorers. Nowitzki drives with the knee, left it up, makes it in. Dirk Nowitzki, the last nine points for the Mavericks. And as we've seen in these NBA Finals, Dirk and Holger are still at it. Now I'm 32 and you still learn something on the floor and off the floor every day from Holger. I guess both parties learn from each other, you know, and that is key, you know, and that's what's the fun about it. I've been knowing him now for half of my life, so we've been through a lot, we've been through a lot of ups and downs. We almost developed a friendship like a second father. 